hey what's up guys and welcome to my video and in today's video we shall go straight into business like we shall be talking exactly about businesses that are most likely to fail you know this is a business page um, i want us to work as a team and i want to deliver i want to make sure i'm delivering the best information for you guys and please in order to support me i just need a like a share and a subscribe and i'll be very grateful so um the first business that is most likely to be to, to, that is most likely to fail and if you're ready to lose money and you want to enter this business the first business i always put in it's mlm multi-level marketing network marketing <laughs> If you enter that business, you're not serious. I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm disappointed in you. MLMs don't work. They're gonna try to prove you, you can make 1 million per day, you can make 5 million with just, you know, just sign up and you go and you need to bring two people in and all sorts of funny 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 proposals and all sorts of bruh that shit doesn't work man you're wasting your time it's gonna bring you even enmity it's gonna you you how can I say you're gonna be isolated if you keep thinking about ML MLMs? Yep, you're gonna be isolated. I said it. Yep, I'm sorry, but that's the harsh truth. You have to convince your friends, your friends will isolate you. They won't want to even talk with you. They won't even want to fuck with you any longer. And my arms don't work. It's those at the top. The first three people at the top that make most of the money. You at the bottom. Mm-mm. 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 The failure rate in MLMs have extremely high. It's so high. Some MLMs don't even have products. In fact, most of them don't even have products. It's just to bring one person who brings another person who brings a third person who brings a fourth person who brings a fifth person who brings a seventh person and the seventh person brings an eighth person and an eighth person brings a ninth person and a ninth person brings a tenth person. Those shit don't work. It don't work. I promise you, it don't work. I tell people a lot, avoid MRMs. No business has made, in fact, after five years, they close up. They don't even have products to sell, nothing. They don't produce anything. They just sell fake dreams. MRMs are fake, man. Bro. Bro, I'm helping you out, man. I'm helping you out. I'm protecting your money. From the first day you even get the business idea, stupid. They're going to take you for a training. What training? To go on the road and be trying to convince your family members? What the fuck? The second is, you know, this second may be a little bit contradictory, but I want to bring the second towards clothing stores. I'm not speaking of online clothing stores, but I'm speaking of clothing stores, pop shop clothing stores, where someone will come and drive by, buy the clothes. And, yeah. You're spending a lot of money on, on, on renting the place. You know, you have to be there physically. 
than struggling to than struggling to to open a clothing store how better you open an online brand where you know you have a model you hire a model rather than renting a very big shop you can hire a model on on online or anywhere you hire the model the model takes dresses you videotape the dresses you put it online and you throw ads and you buy shout outs but physical stores i beat you know open a physical clothing store and yeah you know people are afraid of contact people will not love to enter your store and you know majority of of clothing stores in the neighborhood lock up you have to look for another way to go about it so as number two i'll put in clothing stores okay let's go to number three Number three, this is a little bit, um, yeah, I'm going to put restaurants. Restaurants are one of the highest businesses with the highest failure rate. 80% of restaurants fail within their first two months. To pay the staff, to buy the equipment, to buy the cook, to buy the food, natural resources, you know it's it's the expenditures at every second like the expenditures are either you're cooking and serving at the same time and you're the accountant you're the marketer at the same time you know restaurants are a very difficult business restaurants are an extremely difficult to manage business starting a restaurant is not easy at all i won't lie you man like a restaurant niche is a very hard niche here. Yeah. But notwithstanding, you have people who still succeed in it. But, you know, most of those succeeding are really the big brands. You have the McDonald's, the KFCs, those big brands. And even to that, you can get up one day, the McDonald's in your neighborhood has closed. One, the competition is so much. Two, the cost, the imp- the employees are worn out like every day you need to be employing people because people the the the, 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 the turnover rate of employees they know employees leave a lot so every day you have to be struggling to uh, uh, employ new people into your restaurant so um that's why i put restaurants in this category to start a restaurant it's not easy at all The next business I'm going to put number four, opening a nightclub. Yeah. In nightclub, it's a difficult business because most people, people don't go to nightclubs every day. It's not something that, you know, it's in high demand. And the big nightclubs already have their brand. You had the year in nightclub that has been open for 15, 10 years. You know, nightclubs after two years, you have to renovate because, you know, the people, people are tired of coming and seeing the same infrastructure. You have to change chairs. You have people who borrow a lot. People borrow every second and they are not ready to repay back. You know, it's, it's crazy. A lot of theft. The employees steal a lot, bottles disappear, the cashier steal money, the security guards steal money at the entrance, the ladies, in fact, like, a nightclub is not, it's not an easy to go about business. It's a very tough business. You know, a lot of people say, yo, but Eric, you're speaking and you have not even opened any business. I know what I'm talking about. I have businesses here. Opening a nightclub, it's quite tough. You know, the capital in, you needed, the location, you know, the security. It's, 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 you have, it, it, it's a difficult business. It's a difficult business. They don't stay for long. Five, ten years, you have to renovate. If you're not re- ready to renovate, you're out of the game. You have to work in laws with the states and everything and, you know. 
So number five, it's blogging. I don't know, but I don't know if blogging is dead. Blogging is not dead, but your blog would have succeeded more 2020-ish when people were more into written form content because now most of the youths, you know, their information comes to them directly. Like most people, you get their information from videos and, you know, so starting the blog today and writing articles and, and struggling and struggling and struggling. Uh, it's not an easy to go business and there are close to millions of blogs in no matter the niche. You know, ranking the website, you know, it takes a lot of time and yeah, it's not 80% of blogs fail after during the first month of the launch. Once the 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 subscription expires you stop paying and you know starting a blog is not easy yeah it requires not only financial time but you know your own time so blogging was a thing back then but right now it's quite tough it's the competition is you know it's not easy to really rank your blog and for your blog to reach a certain level. I don't know who I am. I'm at number five. Okay, number six is social media agencies. Yeah. Notwithstanding, the businesses I pronounce, a lot of people um, succeed in those businesses. But, you know, I'm looking at the majority. But now, if you want to know the best form of business, you can check my link in the bio. And I have the best form of business for you, whereby you won't have to invest much, you know, and you yield a lot of results within a very short period of time. So going on number six, I'm going to put social media agencies. Yeah. SMS. Yeah, it's it's a good business, but the failure rate is high because if you don't yield results, like you start a social media agency, you go towards a company, you tell the company you can increase their sales, you know, you tell them this, 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 that. If you're not ready to, if you can't make them sales, because if on your own, you can't even make sales on your own, you know, you're not going to be making sales for a business. So, so that's going to be seriously hard. So starting a social media agency is quite tough. It's not as, it's not as easy as people make it look like, you know, increasing people's followers and all the like yeah it's a very tough industry yeah. social media agencies are, are are quite a little bit tough so going to number seven number seven is um online retails that is um shopify drop shipping you know wow they're close to 60 million Drop shipping stores. Yeah, 60 million. All targeting American buyers. You, people in China, they don't even open stores for people in China. Everybody wants Americans to buy. You want Europeans to buy, which is quite good, but you know, to be able to win into that you need an extra extra in fact you need a job a drop shipping product that solves a problem you don't just you won't just open a, a, a drop shipping store on calculators or earphones and think that people will just buy from you because you're selling earphones man the fuck <laughs> so i'm sorry that's not how it works man that's not how it works so the last will be marketplaces like Amazon, eBay, Etsy. Yeah, those are good, but the issue with them is that those, the the the, the control your business at any point in time, Amazon can close your store, closes your store. What you gonna do? Will you gonna sue Amazon? You never have an email list. Yes, they already have the brand and everything, but now to be able to succeed within them, you know, you have to put in a lot of work. 
to be able to succeed within them so um yeah so yeah that's it and thank you guys for watching up to the end i make more content to help you change your financial situation and if you like such videos comment what is your worst form of business in the comment section and please don't forget to like comment subscribe share and thank you for staying up to the end kudos bye